thank you for bringing us here, Monsieur Nouvellet. The Court of Fontaine is truly incredible. There's so many things I've never seen or heard before. I understand your excitement, but there's no need to thank me. Although I have responded to your wishes, it was not without personal interest. Melusine's special sight make them especially suited for joining the Mare Chaussée Phantom. I'm certain you'll become an indispensable part of Fontaine's detective force. I know, but I'm really glad to be of help. Not only can I repay you for your kindness, but also, it feels like my life has become a lot more meaningful. But a meaningful life also comes with its risks. It's definitely the safest to just stay in the village, but I want to see the outside world nonetheless. In truth, I have never really understood the purpose of my existence, or what I'm capable of contributing to this world. For almost 20 years, we've stayed in our village without finding any answers. That's why we wanted to leave our village and look for the meaning of our existence elsewhere. <laughs> I understand your confusion. In fact, I feel the same way. I too came here for an answer to my questions about my own existence. Really? Could you tell us what we should do to fit in as you did? The truth is, many people threw rocks at us today and told us to go back to our village. It hurt a lot when they hit me in the head, and I tried really hard not to cry. Logically speaking, both time and effort are essential when different species attempt to peacefully coexist. It will be a difficult road ahead, with countless obstacles to overcome. Different identities and ways of thinking all contribute to strengthening the barrier between one another. Removing it will be no easy feat. There aren't many suggestions I can share, because just like you, I haven't fully integrated into this society. Despite my social status, I am still an outsider. Oh, I see. Let's all do our best, then. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. I believe in you, but you shouldn't lose sight of the difficulties ahead. If you run into any trouble, I suggest that you inform Vautram, the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Huh? Is he the person I met in the Palais Marmonia earlier? Yes. Do you have any concerns? That stone-faced human. He didn't even bother to look at me when I tried talking to him. It felt like he wasn't interested in anything but work. He is an earnest man. There will be plenty of opportunities to work together in the future, so please try to get along. We should probably stay away from these monsters. Haven't you realized? Strange incidents have been increasing ever since they came. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? I can't believe Nervilite allowed them into the court of Fontaine just like that. Exactly. That so-called Chief Justice even granted them official positions. Not only that, but they're now responsible for investigating cases as well. I swear there's some hidden agenda at play here. Go away! Quit acting innocent! I'm not leaving! I won't let you say bad stuff about him! We joined the Mari Chaussee Phantom and solved lots and lots of cases! We've never done anything wrong! Solving cases? With Nervilet in cahoots with you! You could have fabricated it all, and no one would know! So tell me, how can you guarantee that you Melazines aren't involved in anything that occurred recently? Uh, I... 
Didn't I tell you before? Don't go advertising if you're not a good talker. Votre? Aside from spreading unjustified rumors, if you continue insulting members of the Mare Chaussee Phantom, the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol has every right to subject you to interrogation. There have indeed been an increase in cases recently, perhaps due to the shifting currents of conspiracy, and I understand your concern. However, there's been no evidence pointing towards Melazine's being involved. <laughs> Even the captain of the security patrol is on their side. Nervilet's newly reformed police force is already corrupt to the core. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? You heard that? Yeah, I don't understand. Why won't anyone believe us? There have been rumors saying that you were born from calamity, and that you inherently bring danger to those around you. There are countless negative rumors about you floating around in Fontaine. It's near impossible for you to become a part of this society. Best if you give up before it's too late. Monsieur Nervalette said that we needed to put both time and effort in. I don't know how long it'll take, but I can at least try making my best effort. I still want to try a little harder. Thank you for bailing me out earlier. <sighs> okay, I won't be taking any more of your time. I painted a lot of flyers last night, so I have to stay and hand them out to everyone. Give them to me. You're, you're not gonna take them away, right? We'll hand them out together. The faster we get this done, the sooner we can head back. Medals of Peace, awarded to you and Vautram. Thank you for your continued dedication in the past five years. You've taken one small step forward in helping Melusines gain the trust of humans. I think I'll pass. Hey, don't say that! We wouldn't have made it this far without you! It won't be long before Melusines begin living peacefully with the humans! Just the thought of it makes me happy. Don't keep your hopes up. We've barely scratched the surface. There's still a long way to go before that dream of yours comes true. Ugh, you blockhead! Don't ruin the mood! Hmm. Vautran brings up a good point. The trust humans have placed in you is still very fragile. Any small incident could undermine the hard work you've put in. Please be on your guard for the next few days. Yes, sir. Medal of Peace? <laughs> peace isn't going to give us back what's rightfully ours. Are you sure we should do this? We're no match for Nervalette, even with all our powers combined. What if... Nah, not gonna happen. As long as he remains in his position, there's no chance he'd take us out personally. There are rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. Unless he wants to become an enemy of Fontaine. So quit worrying and just go ahead with it. I've already planned out the murder. Once we lay the blame on the Melazines as the person who brought them to the court of Fontaine, Nervy Lett will be left with no excuse. I guess you're right. Ugh. If he just left things the way they were, it never would have come to this. But he's forced our hand. Time to teach him a lesson. Turn the murderer in! Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette, too! Peaceful coexistence? What a joke! Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back!
The results of the investigation are in, Captain Voltra. Go on. There is no direct evidence, but reasonable inference indicates that the ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime, whose interests have been undermined by the reform. They tricked Miss Carroll into going to the crime scene and pressed charges against her. After that, they incited panic among the people in order to make Monsieur Nervillette confess to his mistakes and yield up power. The guards were stopped by the enraged mob and couldn't intervene in time. Miss Carroll chose to sacrifice herself to pacify the situation. And she called me a blockhead. A little investigation would have cleared things up. Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? She didn't have to prove her innocence like that. The situation had rapidly escalated to a physical altercation between infuriated citizens and the guards. Miss Carol might have thought there was no better plan. That is indeed something she'd do. Captain Voltra, should I present these results to Monsieur Nervillet right away? There's no need. Notify the guards to restrict public access to all information. Restrict access to... Wait, are you planning to... <sighs> There's something I've never told, Carol. I had a little sister named Delaria who passed away when I was very young. She's just like Carol in every possible way. Innocent, kind, always believing the best of people. People like her are the most vulnerable to deception and betrayal. From the moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be easily manipulated by others. I kept a cold demeanor and tried lecturing her into giving up. Looks like she was unfazed by that. <sighs> yes. In fact, some of her spirit must have rubbed off on me instead. Because I too began working towards that pie-in-the-sky dream of hers. I should have known. Those cowards don't have the guts to confront New Villette. They even avoided causing trouble for me. They were after Carol all along. Can you understand how I feel? Right now, there's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can their debt be repaid. I understand, but I'm certain Monsieur Nervillette wouldn't accept that as a solution. That's exactly why we need to keep this a secret. Give me the list of suspects. What happens after this has nothing to do with any of you. I will take responsibility for everything. Did you know? They're hearing a major case today, and the criminal is Captain Vautrin of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Apparently, he resorted to personal measures to seek revenge for Carol and settled the score with the group that framed his friend. <sighs> hey, why aren't you saying anything? I'm thinking... We should try our best to bail him out when the trial commences. Bail him out? Why? Shh, keep it down! Haven't you realized? Both Votran and Carol are Nervilet's most trusted subordinates. After everything that happened to Carol, Nervilet's guaranteed to do everything he can to keep Votran around. Besides, now that the old regime has been uprooted, Nervilet's status is secure as can be. As long as we redirect public opinion, Nervilet will be able to give Votran a reprieve. The benefits are endless. Votran sought vengeance for his friend for a valid cause. This represents the justice he upholds. Please think about it. If the same thing had happened to you, wouldn't you feel the same way he did? Yeah, that's right! This whole thing started because of those despicable cowards who levied false accusations against Carol. How could Vautrin be declared guilty for seeking revenge? Monsieur Nouvellet. Mr. Vautrin is innocent! He's, He's innocent. innocent! Order! I acknowledge your arguments. For Tran, your revenge could be seen as a form of justice. I understand your decision, which is why I cannot help but feel regret and even grief about the judgment I must now impose. Personal justice does not equate to justice as defined by the law. To execute your plan for revenge, you abused your authority and conducted informal executions. 
Your actions have thus violated the law. Therefore, you will be declared guilty. What? That can't be. Monsieur Nervillette, please give this a little more thought. He has done so much for Fontaine. Votran, my friend, is there anything else you want to say? Nervillette, what have I done to deserve this? I've closely followed every one of your orders. Can't you see? Everyone in this room believes that I'm innocent. Why can't you just let me off? Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nuvillet! Order. Since there have been no further objections, the Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Votran. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Vautrin will be declared guilty. Goodbye, Monsieur Nivellet. This all happened because of Carol's naive ideas. How can different species peacefully coexist anyway? <laughs> 